Welcome to chemistry classes. In this video, we are going to discuss about chlorine. We have to discuss here chlorine, different type of different compounds of chlorine, different properties of chlorine. These are the things we have to discuss in this video. Okay. So first here, we have to discuss the discovery of chlorine. Chlorine discovered by the scientist Schiele. The scientist Schiele discovered by uh, chlorine in 1774. The scientist Davy, the scientist Davy suggested the name chlorine. Chlorine discovered by scientist Schiele in 1774. Uh, the name of chlorine suggested by the scientist Davy. This scientist suggested the name chlorine. The meaning of chlorine. Chlorine means yellowish yellow green color yellowish green yellowish green that is the meaning of chlorine clear next one we have to understand here preparation of chlorine preparation of chlorine before that here i told you here the scientist Schiele discovered chlorine he discovered chlorine by the action of manganese dioxide and hydrochloric acid he reacted manganese dioxide and hydro acid together and he produced chlorine okay next one here we have to study here preparation of chlorine preparation of chlorine here manganese dioxide first preparation same thing manganese dioxide reacted with hydrochloric acid it produced chlorine okay manganese dioxide reacted with hydrochloric acid produced manganese chloride chlorine and water in this chemical reaction hydrochloric acid not using directly here hydrochloric acid not using directly a mixture of hydrochloric acid and common salt used instead of hydrochloric acid okay mixture of hydrochloric mixture of common salt common salt means sodium chloride and concentrated sulfuric acid here in this chemical reaction concentrated HCl not using instead of HCl we will use we will use table salt and concentrated sulfuric acid table salt concentrated sulfuric acid react together react with manganese dioxide it produce chlorine it producing chlorine okay table salt concentrated sulfuric acid manganese dioxide reacting together it produce manganese chloride sodium hydrogen sulfide water and chlorine gas okay so this is the first method of preparation clear here second method of preparation here potassium permanganate potassium permanganate reacted with hydrochloric acid it produced chlorine gas this is the second method of preparation potassium permanganate reacted with hydrochloric acid it produced potassium chloride manganese chloride water and chlorine gas so we learned here two method to prepare chlorine gas first one first one here hydrochloric acid reacting with manganese dioxide it produce chlorine gas okay and manganese chloride water will be side product second method potassium permanganate kmno4 potassium permanganate react with hydrochloric acid potassium permanganate react with hydrochloric acid it produce chlorine gas okay kmno4 plus uh, hcl it produce chlorine gas KCl, potassium chloride, manganese chloride, water will be side product. Clear. Next one, we have to understand here industrial method of preparation of chlorine. Manufacture of chlorine. Manufacture of chlorine. First method, Decon's process. First method here, Decon's process. Decon's process means here oxidation of gaseous hydrogen chloride oxidation of gaseous hydrogen chloride in atmospheric oxygen in presence of copper chloride in presence of copper chloride catalyst it produce chlorine gas okay oxidation of hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride it is gaseous state 
okay here hydrogen chloride will oxidize in presence of atmospheric oxygen in presence of atmospheric oxygen hydrogen chloride will oxidize okay during this chemical reaction here copper chloride it is catalyst and it produce chlorine gas also water will be side product this is one one industrial method of preparation of chlorine second method here electrolysis electrolysis of brine solution brine solution mean concentrated sodium chloride solution that is brine solution after electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution chlorine gas will obtain at anode okay so these are the two important manufacture of chlorine clear okay next one we have to understand here properties of chlorine properties of chlorine chlorine we know chlorine it is yellowish in color chlorine it is yellowish in color it is gaseous state chlorine it is soluble in water chlorine it is soluble in water also chlorine it will liquefy it will liquefy easily also chlorine it will boil at 239 kelvin so these are properties of chlorine so here we discuss chlorine it is it is greenish yellow gas greenish yellow in color also it is gaseous state it is pungent smell it is pungent smell it soluble in water and one more point here its chlorine gas is 2.5 times heavier than air heavier than air compared to air chlorine is 2.5 times heavier than air okay also chlorine it liquefy easily and it will boil at 239 kelvin so these are the properties of chlorine okay next one we have to discuss here chemical properties of chlorine chlorine it react with metals and non metals form different type of compounds example here chlorine reacted with sodium it form sodium chloride sodium reacted with iron it form iron chloride iron chloride fecl3 sodium chloride nacl sodium it react with aluminium it form aluminium chloride aluminium chloride alcl3 aluminium uh, chlorine chlorine also react with non metals chlorine also react with non metals example here phosphorus chlorine reacted with phosphorus it form pcl3 phosphorus trichloride phosphorus chloride pcl3 or pcl5 also also chlorine react with sulfur it form sulfur chloride s2cl2 okay see here these are the chemical reactions of chlorine with metals and non metals aluminum and chlorine reacted form aluminum chloride alcl3 sodium reacted with chlorine na plus cl2 form sodium chloride nacl iron reacted with chlorine fecl3 phosphorus phosphorus atomicity p4 sulfur atomicity 8 s8 okay so phosphorus reacted with chlorine form pcl3 similarly sulfur reacted with chlorine sulfur chloride s2cl2 okay so these are the some chemical reactions of chlorine with metals and non metals clear okay next chemical reaction reaction between chlorine and hydrogen reaction between chlorine and hydrogen or we can say reaction between chlorine and hydrogen compound okay chlorine reacted with hydrogen form hydrogen chloride okay chlorine reacted with hydrogen form hydrogen chloride chlorine has greater affinity towards hydrogen okay chlorine has greater affinity towards hydrogen chlorine reacted with hydrogen form uh, hydrogen chloride similarly chlorine reacting with hydrogen compound for example chlorine reacting with 
hydrogen sulfide chlorine reacted with hydrogen sulfide it form hydrogen chloride and sulfur so first we discuss here chlorine reacting with hydrogen it form hydrogen chloride similarly chlorine reacting with hydrogen sulfide hydrogen sulfide h2s it form hydrogen chloride and sulfur okay also chlorine reacting with hydrocarbon it form it form hydrogen chloride and carbon okay chlorine reacting with hydrocarbon c10h16 chlorine reacting with hydrocarbon it form hydrogen chloride and carbon okay so here we discuss chlorine has greater affinity towards hydrogen chlorine reacted with hydrogen form hydrogen chloride chlorine also reacting with hydrogen compound for example chlorine reacting with uh, hydrogen sulfide form hydrogen chloride and sulfur chlorine reacting with hydrocarbon it form it form hydrogen chloride and carbon okay next one we have to understand here reaction between chlorine and ammonia chlorine reacting with ammonia in different condition chlorine reacting with excess amount of ammonia okay we have here two chemical reaction chlorine reacting with excess ammonia chlorine reacting with excess ammonia second condition excess chlorine reacting with ammonia both situation we will get different product so we have to understand here clearly here chlorine reacting with excess amount of ammonia we will get product nitrogen okay chlorine reacting with excess amount of ammonia it pro it produce nitrogen product nitrogen and ammonium chloride okay chlorine reacting with excess amount of ammonia here product nitrogen and ammonium chloride second condition here ammonia reacting with excess amount of excess amount of chlorine in second case chlorine is excess so we will get ncl3 in previous case here nitrogen now here ncl3 nitrogen trichloride nitrogen trichloride and hcl okay so here here nitrogen and the excess amount of ammonia nitrogen and ammonium chloride product second case ammonia reacting with excess amount of chlorine so here ncl3 nitrogen trichloride and hydrogen chloride are the product okay next one we have to discuss here reaction between chlorine and sodium hydroxide chlorine react with sodium hydroxide in different condition chlorine react with cold dilute sodium hydroxide form sodium chloride and sodium oxychloride nacl and the naocl chlorine reacted with cold dilute sodium hydroxide it form nacl and N naocl okay nacl and the naocl plus h2o here you have to understand chlorine reacted with the sodium hydroxide it form two different compound each compound which contain chlorine with a different oxidation state first one sodium chloride second one sodium oxychloride in sodium chloride the oxidation state of chlorine minus 1 in sodium oxychloride oxidation state of chlorine plus 1 clear so remember chlorine reacted with sodium cold dilute sodium hydroxide it form uh, two compound with chlorine with different oxidation state sodium chloride sodium oxychloride minus one oxidation state plus one oxidation state okay see here second one chlorine also react with hot concentrated sodium hydroxide chlorine also react with hot concentrated sodium hydroxide form different compound not this compound different compound here 
sodium chloride first one same sodium chloride second one sodium chlorate the previous one sodium oxychloride nao naocl second one naclo3 sodium chlorate here also uh, sodium uh, chlorine reacted with hot concentrated sodium hydroxide form different compound which contain two different compound with chlorine with different oxidation state first one minus one oxidation state here oxidation state of chlorine plus five okay so remember here chlorine reacted with so called dilute sodium hydroxide uh, different compounds of chlorine its oxidation state minus one and plus one Chlorine reacted with hot concentrated sodium hydroxide. Two different chlorine compound. Its oxidation state minus 1 and plus 5. Minus 1 and plus 5. Sodium chloride and sodium chlorate. Both case water is side product. Okay. Next one we have to discuss here. Reaction between chlorine and dry slaked lime. Slaked lime means calcium hydroxide chlorine react with dry slaked lime see here calcium hydroxide reacted with chlorine dry calcium hydroxide reacted with chlorine it form bleaching powder it form bleaching powder it form calcium oxychloride caocl twice calcium chloride and water this mixture is bleaching powder okay caocl twice calcium chloride and water actually this is the composition of bleaching powder this is the composition of bleaching powder ca caocl twice calcium chloride calcium hydroxide 2h2o there is calcium chloride calcium hydroxide 2H2O also there is one molecule of CaOCl twice this is the composition of bleaching powder so here we discuss uh, sodium hydroxide react with chlorine in different condition uh, and form different compound with a different oxidation state reaction with the cold dilute sodium hydroxide and reaction with the hot concentrated sodium hydroxide chlorine reacted with dry slaked lime it form bleaching powder the composition of bleaching powder caocl twice calcium chloride calcium hydroxide and h2o all this in between there is dot okay so this is the composition of bleaching powder Next one we have to understand here reaction between chlorine and hydrocarbon. First one chlorine undergoes substitution reaction with alkane. Chlorine undergoes substitution reaction with alkane. Here one example chlorine reacting with uh, methane. Chlorine reacting with methane it forms chloromethane and hydrogen chloride. Chlorine reacted with methane it form chloromethane and hydrogen chloride substitution reaction takes place in presence of sunlight and heat this substitution reaction takes place in presence of sunlight and heat okay so generally uh, chlorine reacted with alkane in presence of sunlight it form chloroalkane and hydrogen chloride clear Chlorine also react with alkene. Chlorine undergo addition reaction with alkene. The previous one we discussed. Chlorine undergo substitution reaction with alkene. Next one, chlorine undergo addition reaction with alkene. Okay, so see here, chlorine reacting with ethene, C2H4, ethene. And it form 1,2-dichloroethene. 1 to dichloroethane so here chlorine undergo addition reaction with alkene chlorine undergo substitution reaction with alkene 
substitution reaction takes place in presence of sunlight substitution reaction takes place in presence of sunlight addition reaction this addition reaction takes place at room temperature addition reaction takes place at room temperature okay next one we have to understand here uh, chlorine water we know chlorine dissolve in the water on standing chlorine water it lose its yellow color chlorine water it is yellow in color when we keep this chlorine water it lose its color it lose its yellow color because chlorine water it will change to hydro hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid chlorine water it will change to hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid hcl and hocl hocl mean hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid during this process nascent oxygen will be formed during this process nascent oxygen nascent oxygen will be formed nascent oxygen mean freshly prepared oxygen by a chemical reaction during a chemical reaction freshly prepared oxygen formed such type of oxygen called nascent oxygen so chlorine water on on standing it will it will change to hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid and this hypochlorous acid produce nascent oxygen freshly prepared oxygen by by this chemical reaction okay and this oxygen helps to uh, because of this oxygen because of the formation of nascent oxygen chlorine shows oxidizing property also bleaching property okay chlorine shows oxidizing property also it has it has bleaching power because of the formation of nascent oxygen chlorine has bleaching power also oxidizing power okay so here we discuss here we discuss alkane undergo substitution reaction alkane substitution reaction alkene undergo addition reaction with chlorine chlorine water on keeping one side it it will change to hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid this process this process produce nascent oxygen and uh, due to the formation of nascent oxygen chlorine has oxidizing power also bleaching power clear okay we discuss chlorine has oxidizing power so here next we have to discuss here chlorine will oxidize different substance first one chlorine will oxidize the compound which contain fe2+ to fe3+ chlorine it will oxidize fe2+ to fe3+ ferrous to ferric okay fe2+ that is ferrous it will oxidize chlorine will oxidize ferrous to ferric ferric mean fe3+ okay so look here uh, iron sulfate feso4 here iron with plus 2 oxidation state plus 2 oxidation state chlorine will react with the ferrous sulfate in presence of dilute sulfuric acid it will change to it will change to ferric sulfate iron sulfate with the plus 2 oxidation state it will change to iron sulfate here fe plus 3 oxidation state here it is 3 times so here iron plus 3 oxidation state okay so here you can see chlorine react with iron sulfate in presence of dilute sulfuric acid it will change to iron sulfate and hydrochloric acid here iron sulfate fe plus 2 oxidation state and here iron sulfate fe plus 3 oxidation state okay see here another one sodium sulfite chlorine will oxidize sodium sulfite sodium sulfite to sodium to sodium sulfate sodium sulfate ate sodium sulfite mean na2so3 it will oxidize to 
sodium sulfate sodium sulfate mean Na2SO4 Na2SO4 so chlorine in presence of water it will oxidize sodium sulfite to sodium sulfate okay and here another one chlorine will oxidize sulfur dioxide to sulfuric acid chlorine will oxidize sulfur dioxide to sulfuric acid in presence of water look here chlorine it will oxidize sulfur dioxide to sulfuric acid sulfur dioxide to sulfuric acid clear last one chlorine it will oxidize iodine iodine to iodic acid iodine it will change to iodic acid iodic acid hio3 that is iodic acid okay so these are the different oxidation of uh, substance by chlorine chlorine it will oxidize ferrous to ferric fe2 plus to fe3 plus chlorine it will oxidize sodium sulfite na2so3 to sodium sulfate na2so4 okay and another one chlorine it will oxidize sulfur dioxide so sodium it will oxidize sulfur dioxide to sulfuric acid <clears throat> another one chlorine it will oxidize iodine iodine to iodic acid clear okay next one we have to discuss here chlorine is a powerful bleaching agent chlorine in moisture or chlorine dissolving in water it produce nascent oxygen this nascent oxygen helps to bleach chlorine see here when chlorine dissolve in the water it produce nascent oxygen we discussed nascent oxygen mean freshly prepared oxygen by a chemical reaction okay this is nascent oxygen this nascent oxygen after mixing with the colored substance it become colorless colored substance bleeds to colorless the bleaching effect of chlorine it is permanent bleaching effect of chlorine it is it is permanent okay and here here chlorine it will bleach organic matter organic matter or vegetable in moisture organic matter uh, colored organic matter or colored vegetable uh, bleach by chlorine in presence of moisture and this bleaching effects are permanent clear okay next one we have to understand here important uses of chlorine important uses of chlorine chlorine used as a bleaching agent important use of chlorine first one chlorine used as a bleaching agent uh, especially in paper industry or to make rayon rayon uh, in this case here chlorine used as a bleaching agent also chlorine used in uh, sterilizing water after passing chlorine through water we can kill germs and bacteria so to sterilize water we can use chlorine okay also chlorine used to make some chemicals such as chloroform ddt during this manufacturing we will use chlorine chlorine also used to make different type of dyes okay so see here important uses of chlorine chlorine used in chlorine used to bleach wood pulp uh, in paper industry also to make rayon chlorine used to bleach pulp also chlorine used used to bleach cotton uh, in textiles industry chlorine used to bleach uh, chlorine used to bleach cotton also here also here chlorine used in the extraction of gold and platinum chlorine used to uh, chlorine used in the extraction of gold and platinum also chlorine used in the manufacturing of dye chlorine used in the manufacturing of dye chlorine used to make important chemicals 
such as carbon tetrachloride, chloroform, DDT, also chlorine used to make different type of refrigerants. Refrigerant, chlorine used to make carbon tetrachloride, chloroform, uh, DDT, also important refrigerant. Also chlorine used to sterilize water. After passing water through water, after passing chlorine through the water, it helps to kill germs and bacteria. Also chlorine used to make uh, poisonous gases. Poisonous gases such as phosgene. Phosgene means uh, carbonyl chloride, COCl2. That is phosgene, poisonous gas. Tear gas, tear gas, CCL3NO2. The formula of tear gas, CCL3NO2. Mustard gas, mustard gas, CCL, CH2, CH2, sulfur, CH2, CH2, Cl. This is the formula of mustard gas cl ch2 ch2 in the middle sulfur again ch2 ch2 cl here look here cl ch2 ch2 in the middle sulfur again ch2 ch2 cl this is mustard gas okay so to make tear gas uh, mustard gas also to make phosgene we will use chlorine so these are the important uses of chlorine these are the different uses of uses of chlorine chlorine used to bleach wood pulp also used to bleach cotton in paper industry also textiles industry chlorine used in the extraction of gold and platinum gold used to make important dyes and drugs chlorine used to make important chemicals such as carbon tetrachloride DDT, also refrigerant, chloroform, etc. Chlorine used, used to sterilize water. Chlorine used to make poisonous gases such as tear gas, uh, phosgene, mustard gas, etc. Clear? Okay, next one we have to understand here hydrogen chloride. Next one we have to understand here hydrogen chloride. Aqueous solution of hydrogen chloride called hydrochloric acid. Aqueous solution of hydrogen chloride, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid first prepared by Glober. The scientist Glober first prepared uh, hydrochloric acid. He reacted common salt with concentrated sulfuric acid and prepared hydrochloric acid. The scientist Davy, the scientist Davy shows that it is a compound of hydrogen and chlorine. Okay, first prepared by first prepared by Glober hydrochloric acid, and uh, the scientist Davy shows that this is the compound which contains hydrogen and chlorine. Okay, next one we have to discuss here preparation of preparation of hydrochloric acid laboratory method of preparation of hydrochloric acid here same this process common salt reacted with the concentrated sulfuric acid it form it form sodium hydrogen sulfate nahso4 sodium hydrogen sulfate this sodium hydrogen sulfate again reacted with sodium chloride it form uh, hydro, uh, it, it will change to sodium sulfate and hydrogen chloride clear look here look here sodium chloride reacted with the concentrated sulfuric acid it changes sodium hydrogen sulfate NaHSO4 sodium hydrogen sulfate and HCl okay so here HCl produced Again, this NHSO4 reacted with one more NaCl, one molecule of sodium chloride. It will change to sodium sulfate, Na2SO4, Na2SO4 plus HCl. So here, HCl is produced. This is the laboratory method of preparation of hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen chloride dissolved in the water, aqueous solution called hydrochloric acid. Okay, next one we have to discuss here properties of hydrogen chloride. Properties of hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride, it is 
it is colorless gas with pungent smell hydrogen chloride uh, colorless gas with pungent smell it is highly soluble in water hydrogen chloride highly soluble in water and uh, after dissolving in the water it form hydrochloric acid and hydrogen chloride it ionize in water and form h3o plus and cl minus h3o plus and cl minus here ionization constant or acidity constant 10 power 7 10 raised to 7 this is acidity constant of hydrochloric acid this higher value of higher value of ka indicate that hcl is a strong acid hcl is a strong acid so here we discuss hydrochloric acid it is hydrogen chloride it is colorless gas with a pungent smell okay it liquefy easily we can liquefy hydrogen chloride easily to colorless liquid and this colorless liquid it will boil at 100 189 kelvin hydrogen chloride colorless gas with a pungent smell we can easily liquefy to colorless liquid and it will boil at 189 kelvin hydrogen chloride easily dissolved in water after dissolving in water it will ionize to h3o plus and cl minus here acidity constant 10 power 7 this higher value of k indicate that hcl or hydrochloric acid it is a strong acid it is strong acid okay next one we have to understand here hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid reacted with reacted with uh, nh3 it formed white dense fumes hydrogen chloride reacted with nh3 it formed it formed ammonium chloride this ammonium chloride is a white dense fumes look here nh3 reacted with hcl it formed NH4Cl, ammonium chloride. This ammonium chloride is white dense fumes. Okay. Okay, next one here we have to understand the mixture of concentrated HCl and nitric acid called aqua regia. Mixture of concentrated nitric acid and HCl, it is called aqua regia. Here, the ratio of concentrated HCl and nitric acid, HCl and nitric acid, HCl and nitric acid ratio must be 3 is to 1. The ratio of HCl and nitric acid uh, ratio must be 3 is to 1. Okay. So here we discussed aqua, aqua regia, aqua regia mean mixture of concentrated HCl and concentrated nitric acid. HCl and nitric acid volume ratio must be 3 is to 1. 3 HCl and 1 nitric acid. Okay, remember the ratio 3 HCl, 1 nitric acid. So, ratio of HCl and nitric acid 3 is to 1. This mixture called aqua regia. This mixture aqua regia used to dissolve metal metal such as noble metal noble metal noble metal mean uh, native metal silver gold platinum we can dissolve in we can dissolve in aqua regia clear next one we have to understand here hydrochloric acid hcl react with carbonate form carbon dioxide salt and water okay carbonate reacted with hydrochloric acid it form carbonate salt and water see here example sodium carbonate sodium carbonate reacted with hydrochloric acid form sodium chloride carbon dioxide and water here sodium hydrogen carbonate reacted with uh, hydrochloric acid form sodium chloride carbon dioxide and water okay and here sodium sulfite sodium sulfite reacted with the hydrochloric acid form sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide sodium chloride and water okay so here these are the some chemical reactions of uh, hydrochloric acid 
hydrochloric acid reacted with carbonate hydrogen carbonate it form carbon dioxide water and corresponding salt okay here sodium carbonate sodium chloride potassium carbonate potassium chloride so corresponding salt water carbon dioxide will be formed sodium uh, here hydrochloric acid reacted with sodium sulfite form sulfur dioxide water and salt okay so these are the chemical reactions of uh, hydrochloric acid these are the properties of hydrogen chloride or properties of hydrochloric acid clear next one we have to understand here important uses of hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride used to make important chemicals such as ammonium chloride and chlorine okay uh, here important uses of hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride used to make important chemical such as ammonium chloride and chlorine gas also hydrogen chloride used to used in the manufacturing of glucose used in the manufacturing of glucose from cane sugar hydrogen chloride used in the manufacturing of glucose glucose from cane sugar also hydrogen chloride used in the used to purify bone black okay it you it used to purify bone black also also hydrogen chloride used as a bleaching agent hydrogen chloride used as a bleaching agent also here uh, in the extraction of glue from bone we will use hydrogen chloride so here we we discussed here important uses of hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride used to make important chemicals such as chlorine and ammonium chloride uh, hydrogen chloride used in the manufacturing of cane sugar sorry used in the manufacturing of glucose from cane sugar glucose from cane sugar hydrogen chloride used as a bleaching agent hydrogen chloride used in the used to purify bone black hydrogen chloride used to extract glue from bone okay so these are the different uses of hydrogen chloride clear next one we have to understand here oxo acids of oxo acids of halogen oxo acids of halogen in halogen fluorine form only one oxo acid because of its small size and a higher electronegativity fluorine form only one oxo acid that is hof hof high uh, fluoric acid or hypofluorous acid fluorine form only one oxo acid because fluorine has very small size compared to other group members compared to fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatine fluorine has very small size and a higher electronegativity that's why fluorine form only one oxo acid that is hof hof mean fluoric acid or hypofluorous acid other halogen form many oxo acid and they are stable in aqueous solution or their salt in the form of salt or aqueous solution these are stable okay and here uh, we have to understand here uh, different type of oxo acid and their structures are given here you can see here different oxo acids of halogen and their structure so here we discussed here uh, fluorine form only one oxo acid fluoric acid or hypofluorous acid hof because fluorine fluorine has high electronegativity and very small size other halogens form many oxo acid and they are stable in aqueous solution and in the form of salt okay we have to understand here interhalogen compound next one we have to understand here interhalogen compound interhalogen compounds mean two different halogens reacted together form a compound called interhalogen compound okay there are different type of interhalogen compound x x dash 
x x dash 3 x x dash 5 x x dash 7 so these are the different type of interhalogen compound x x dash x x dash 3 x x dash 5 x dash 7 so here the first one x represent large size halogen large size halogen and this x dash it represent small size halogen we know this is this is group 7 elements uh, fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatine when we move from top to down size of the halogen increases so here size of the halogen iodine iodine bromine chlorine fluorine we know iodine bigger than bromine bigger than chlorine okay so here x x dash 3 x x dash 3 example clf3 i told you x mean big size halogen compared to chlorine and fluorine which halogen is bigger chlorine is bigger fluorine is small so here x x dash mean x mean bigger halogen x dash mean smaller halogen example x x dash 3 uh, clf3 clf3 first one bigger halogen fluorine bigger halogen x dash smaller halogen fluorine clear so these are the different type of interhalogen compound and here preparation of interhalogen compound interhalogen compounds are prepared by direct combination two different halogens reacting together at a very high temperature we can prepare different type of halogen okay so look here chlorine reacted with the fluorine chlorine react with the fluorine at a very high temperature 473 kelvin it forms clf x x dash first type okay and chlorine reacted with the fluorine 3f2 573 kelvin it forms clf3 iodine reacted with the chlorine iodine and chlorine reacting with at um, iodine and chlorine reacting together at lower temperature it form icl the first type x x dash icl okay so this is one of the method to prepare interhalogen compound direct combination clear okay you can see in this table different type of interhalogen compound and their uh, their physical state and their structure okay so see here here x x dash example for x x dash clf brf if icl okay and here x x dash 3 x x dash 3 clf 3 brf 3 if 3 so here x x x x dash 3 mean it is bent shape x x dash 3 mean it is bent shape similarly x x dash 5 brf 5 if 5 clf 5 these are example for x x dash 5 and here it is square pyramidal this is square pyramidal last one here x x dash 7 example if 7 shape pentagonal by pyramidal pentagonal by pyramidal so remember here x x dash 3 it is bent t shape bent t shape x x dash 5 square pyramidal square pyramidal if 7 pentagonal by pyramidal pentagonal by pyramidal clear okay so here we discuss different type of interhalogen compound or interhalogen compounds are covalent in nature they are covalent molecule interhalogen compounds are more reactive than halogen interhalogen compounds are diamagnetic in nature so here we discuss some properties of interhalogen compound interhalogen compounds they are highly reactive compared to halogen and here they are diamagnetic in nature and they are covalent molecule look here high uh, interhalogen compound such as x x dash okay the bond between x x dash is weaker than x 
x here x x it represent halogen for example chlorine single bond chlorine here x x dash example icl okay so here this bond bond between halogen bond between two different halogen in interhalogen compound this bond is weaker that's why it is highly reactive compared to halogen this is halogen and here x x bond between two halogen it is stronger than this one but here one exception case except fluorine okay fluorine is highly reactive compared to interhalogen compound so here we discuss interhalogen compounds are highly reactive than halogen except fluorine so here fluorine it is very small size and highly electronegative or you can say highly electron elect highly uh, electronic repulsion highly electronic repulsion because of small size that's why bond between two fluorine atom is weaker than interhalogen compound so listen here carefully interhalogen compounds are highly reactive because of the bond between two different halogen it is weaker but there is one exception case fluorine is most reactive then interhalogen compound okay there is exception case fluorine is highly reactive than interhalogen compound what is the reason here fluorine fluorine it is very small size and there is inter electronic repulsion so bond between two fluorine atom is weaker than interhalogen compound so fluorine is highly reactive than uh, interhalogen compound clear and here one more thing we have to understand here interhalogen compounds after hydrolysis after dissolving in the water it form hydrohalic acid it form hx and hox interhalogen compound after dissolving in water it form hx and hox hx mean hx mean hydrohalic acid hydrohalic acid different type of halogen we know hydrochloric acid hydrobromic acid so here generally we can say hx hydrohalic acid also hypochlo hypohalic acid hox mean hypohalic acid hypochlorous acid uh, hypohalous acid here hypohalous acid okay so here interhalogen compounds after dissolving in water it form two different type of acid hydrohalic acid hypohalous acid hydrohalic acid example hydrochloric acid hydrobromic acid okay hypohalous acid example hydrochlorous acid hydrochlorous acid hocl okay uh, not hydrochlorous acid sorry hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid mean hocl it is called hypochlorous acid clear okay, here last part of this video we have to discuss here different uses of interhalogen compound interhalogen compound used as non aqueous solvent interhalogen compound used as non aqueous solvent interhalogen compounds such as clf3 brf3 used used as a flu fluorinating agent clf3 brf3 used as a fluorinating agent to add fluorine fluorinating agent okay so here different uses of different uses of uh, interhalogen compound interhalogen compound used as fluorinating agent also it used it used in the uh, used as non aqueous solvent non aqueous solvent fluorinating agent we discuss fluorinating agent for example to to produce uranium tetra uh, uranium hexafluoride 
here interhalogen compound used as fluorinating agent example in the enrichment of uranium 235 uranium convert into uranium hexafluoride uranium convert into uranium hexafluoride by treating with clf3 or brf3 okay uranium treated with clf3 or brf3 it will change to uranium hexafluoride okay so these are the important uses of interhalogen compound interhalogen compound used as non aqueous solvent also it used as fluorinating agent for example in uh, in the enrichment of uranium 235 first uranium will convert into uranium hexafluoride with help of clf3 or brf3 okay so these are the different things we have to discuss in this video you can just review the video okay uh, so thank you for watching this channel